All right, so yesterday 2K have dropped their eighth patch of the year, which basically is the most game-changing patch of the year. Probably for more, yeah, for most people, yeah. I mean, it surpasses the one where they nerf shooting a little bit. I mean, that's it was noticeable, but not that noticeable. But yeah, they nerfed speed boosting, and I heard a lot of people say they liked it. I heard a lot of people say they don't like it. I'm gonna touch on both of those sides today and just break down the whole patch and everything and how you can like work around it, you know what I'm saying? Because it is a change, a sudden change, and any sudden change is gonna take adjusting, especially when you're so used to relying on your speed as a guard to get open and score. You know, a lot of people say, okay, if you can't get open now, uh, you're trash. A lot of people's egos is in the, in the air, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people's egos is in the air to prove that, oh man, I, this patch ain't do shit to me. I could still, you know, move like how I was moving. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna see a lot of that on Twitter and a lot of that whatever on YouTube. So what the patch did basically was nerf speed laterally. That's all it really did. So you won't be able to move fast when you're moving side to side. They meant this to nerf the left right cheese in 2K. So, you know, you can't just go to the right and suddenly cut back to the left. If you try to do it, you will get like a, a, a staggered animation, which makes you slow down, but gradually speed back up as you keep walk running, you know what I'm saying? And by the time you're done staggering, your defender will probably have caught up to you already. So that's how they're gonna stop it. So some ways, you can stop this or work around this is I, I think you guys heard it before is the combo up you know saying it's a certain way you have to dribble now like like more or less try to dribble downhill example is on the screen right here you can see me trying to step back and then dribble to the left or the right i'm more or less going downhill so i'm step back and then go downhill and i'm i'm gonna move exactly how i was moving i'm not gonna move as fast you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna move faster before like i can't just go ahead and just go left right you have to do a step back and go downhill to catch that speed you know what i'm saying that's one way you can work out so you're gonna be doing people are gonna be doing a lot of step backs a lot of step backs behind screens and just trying to go left or right another way you could do it is cross left then go back to the right because some for some reason when you cross over to the right but then go back to the opposite direction they work on any hand you still get the same speed boost animation pre-patch i don't know if this was intentional or 2k just doesn't look at everything but yeah this works i'm gonna show you on the screen i'm gonna show you on the screen chill so go ahead and take a look as you can see when i you know cross over and then go to the opposite direction i still get the same speed boost animation nothing changes not like they didn't change that that's still the same pre-patch so that's one move you guys have at your disposal you guys can do this you know what i'm saying this is one move which still makes you move fast in the game now you got to understand what moves you can't do i know it's a lot like a lot of people have like it's second nature to them to do it now so obviously you can't do this left right you can't just switch your ball to one hand and then move in that same direction you're still going to get that slow animation but like i said you can do it if you were moving downhill you have to be moving downhill so i suggest more of the badges that's going to be useful this like season is the downhill badge and um hyperdrive one of those badges are going to be you know more like used in the game because people are going to be using most of their moves in transition to get open if i've been you i've been doing that so like i said it's not really this patch is not really gonna kill me it's not gonna kill me like some of y'all if there was the patch shooting then i love it it's gonna be a problem i can lie but it's just dribbling something i'm not crazy at anyway so it's like come on like you know saying all i have to do is switch over a couple of badges and it will be good to go so you know more playmaking best playmaking badges are coming you feel what i'm saying so we got to go over what moves you what move mind you is one move that you can do it's one move that you can do so this signature combo that i been using i it still offers the same speed boost animation that pre-patch you know what i'm saying you still get the same animation now that uh signature combo is baron davis you see i'm doing it right here and i'm still moving fast i'll just flick up and then move the same direction it still works it's still fast as hell you guys gotta go try it out and i suggest it because you guys are gonna need a new signature combo if yours is not working you know what i'm saying now you can't just go straight side to side you have to have a combo that mixes up a little bit and you can predict where to go next now like i said the combo 
has an instance where he switches his hand to the left or the right and that's up to you to read that or when he's at that combo and then to go the opposite direction which gives you the, the pre-patch speed boost so we're gonna call it pre-patch speed boost now all of that is out the way i taught you guys told you guys a little bit of speed boost moves i'm gonna tell you guys what i think about the patch now initially i thought the patch was it was meh i didn't feel too happy about it or too sad about it it was just no i had a normal feeling because i felt like other than trying to fix the problem at hand they kind of been a little they kind of half-assed it and just like nerfed speed boosting as a whole when that really wasn't the problem at hand you know what i'm saying like obviously we have quick first step on gold and hall of fame like you and me regardless we have it on either quick or uh gold or hall of fame and when you're taking away from that is the fact that quick first step is limited now like it, it just plain doesn't work when you're moving left to right because you know saying it's, it's slower obviously they have to patch left right some way so instead of you know, I know 2K has a system where they can detect a player moving left to right, constantly abusing it. So what they should have done is when, I think they did this in another 2K, I just can't remember. When you're moving left to right and the system detects that you're abusing this movement, just penalize their shooting. Make it so they, you know, drop their shooting percentage majorly, majorly, so they can't spam it all game. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, or they could have done where your player gets tired faster from moving in that certain movement. You know what I'm saying? But then it's like, okay, you're patching, you're nerfing stamina, but not really. Only if you're moving left, right. 2K has the tools to do this, but they just said, you know what? We're going to nerf dribble speed in, in as a whole. You know what I'm saying? They nerf dribble speed as a whole. Now, the only way you could dribble at the same speed it's like i said if you're going downhill so you have to move back from your defenders and then attack them going at an angle so where you will still get the pre-patch speed boost you know what i'm saying so that's like a whole gameplay a whole play style redirection you know say adjustment in itself moving like downhill at an angle you have to remember to do that every time you're attacking or wanting you know three hunt it's gonna make it harder to three hunt but you can still do it just chain more combos together get in the lab and discover more ways you know saying that's why i was in the pro arena you know uh, maybe like a, a half an hour trying to figure out what this patch did to my character and like how i could overcome it because initially you could see on the bottom left i was trying to get level 40 so like i had no time to do this I had no time to do so i had to hurry up and get my level 40s before the season ended so yeah now that i got that i can finally sit down here and really analyze this patch the patch has good and bad in it like for instance okay now we don't have to deal with left right spammers and all that and <laughs> i'm sorry to say it but the bad is those small point guards that y'all made trying to abuse the little speed system i yeah yeah that, that might be raps now I, I'm, I'm just keeping it i'm not bro i'm just a messenger bro i'm i hey i have one too so it's not like y'all by yourself but it's he just on xbox just to play around with but i i seen some small guards still going crazy but it's going to be more, more rare now because a lot of people just made it so they can have the extra burst of speed like i said they nerfed speed bursting so there's really no bursting out of like a straight combo. You're going to have to mix it up some way. And it's like work around the system. Like I said, I told you guys how to work around the system mainly, but I'm pretty sure, you know, a more competent dribbler or somebody who studies the game more than me is going to come up with new, like some new move sets to really abuse the system. And then it's like, all right, what's the, what's the chances that, 2k just folds under the pressure and reverse the patch because of all the complaining like obviously people more people did not like the patch so opinions change over time like i said 2k 21 next gen to a lot of people was a good game until they really had to sit down and really play the game for like a week or two or a month straight then it's like ah, i'm not feeling this so we're gonna really see the how everybody feels about the patch maybe a week or two from now you know saying i don't really pay attention to people say oh this patch is good they gotta really sit down and play this game to be like oh me damn maybe they nerf speed a little bit too much because I, I can't even move 
I can't even move any, anymore as a guard. And you know, saying as a 6'5 guard, I was already not that fast to begin with. So to take that hit again, it's like, okay. But like I said, it's about adjustment. I already told you guys how to move downhill in a certain angle to where you can get that some of that speed back Because like I said if you're just moving left and right between screens, you're not gonna get open no more So it's like do screens go away? I don't think so But it's more like you have to find a way to work around screens to where it's like you have to pay attention more You can't just play the game and get open against good people like they're gonna really be on you you gotta really learn how to play the game and learn how to dribble confidently now like i told you i gave you some combos that work i've been using this i've been going crazy with it you know what i'm saying but it's like to just nerf speed boosting as a whole other than to just address the issue directly because there's more issues than the dribbling in the game you know what i'm saying like the whole it, this is the easiest 2k to shoot thing it still exists <laughs> i ain't gonna lie to you it still exists you know what i'm saying but you just gotta handle it how you handle it like i said i feel like 2k should have addressed the situation more directly in than addressing it more like hmm, what's the word i'm looking for expanded so it's like let's just nerf movement dribble speed as a whole when you do this move and we're not gonna just take the stamina away from people who left right we're not gonna majorly um what's that penalize their shot their shot making ability once they do this move they just say you know what fuck it um where's where's worth the button to nerf dribbling speed and just pull it all the way down you know what i'm saying but that's just my opinion on the patch do i think it's a good patch yeah it's a good patch it's all right i don't feel no way towards it you know what i'm saying it's annoying because you're just gonna have to start playing differently but it's like damn i and i went to my team too it doesn't really seem to affect my team how it affects uh the city like i said in current gen it's, it affects current gen but it's like it's like current gen got more of like a a lenient like they got off they got off easy bro because the the current gen gameplay speed is still faster it was always faster than next gen but like just buffing it it feels like next current gen feels like next gen pre-patch if that makes any sense so it was like they still got off easy like they're slowed down but it's not to where it's like damn oh fuck i can't left right anymore you know what i'm saying they can still move left and right if you do a certain move. You just can't just go left and turn back right anymore. You have to still combo up in between that. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to take more skill to do it. So, yeah. That's all I have to say today, man. Honestly, in the comment section below, let me know if you like the patch or not. And what could 2K have done differently to really kept the feel of the game and let me know how do you feel are you still going to be playing 2k as much as now like is your build trash is your build still goaded you know what I'm saying i want to hear everybody's opinion in the comment section and to my next video i'm gonna see y'all next time peace